what's up YouTube me and L Wood out here running the streets and today we're gonna talk about what I think in my personal opinion are just five good tricks good tips oh, good tips for the beginner rider such as myself who has been riding long on two wheels in about four months but I mean you know if you're uh yeah, no matter what it is Maybe you're getting a tri-glide or what have you, freewheeler, either way. So, I got my phone there. I'm gonna try not to ramble. It's not really a joke today because, you know, it's not a motor vlog, it's more of a tip video. Even though, I would I'm gonna film category. This is in no particular order. It's just uh, what I think. Uh, some good tips. Um, number one, I think, is to be confident. Don't uh, don't go get a bike and then be like, oh my God, I'm gonna drop it. Or what if I drop it? I'm gonna have to pay all this money. Uh, see, I think for me, if you think that you're gonna drop it, then at some point you're gonna you're just gonna drop it. I mean. I'm not saying it's not going to happen regardless, but you shouldn't jump into riding or anything for that matter, you know, with a negative attitude, like, uh, you know, you can't, you can't go take a test and be like, oh, I'm still going to fail this test because you're going to end up failing the test because, you know, you're not thinking clearly. So I would say, you know, I would say be confident in what you do, no matter if it's riding a motorcycle or taking a test or, or you know, asking, asking that girl you like out on a date. I see, I see you over there. Uh, and I would say, and then number two, number two would be don't worry about people. Some people will be, oh, a motorcycle is so dangerous. You don't want to do that. Why would you do that? I can't believe you're doing that. A lot of times, you know, in life, you just have to do what you think is right for you. And if you think riding a motorcycle is going to be good for you because you're going to ride it to work and save a bunch on gas, then go for it. Um, another part of that is, you know, when you're first starting out, and you say you get to a, a stop sign. And, you, you know, there's cars coming, you know, from both ways. And, you know, you're waiting to go. But there's a line of people behind you. Don't worry about them people. Those people can't wait. Because at the end of the day, they are in a car or a truck or what have you. Something with airbags and they are on a bike. So, you know, you have to be comfortable and not worry about them people trying to get you to go honk in their horns. You know, don't worry about them. Just be you and go when you're ready. Uh, let's see, another one. Let's see, tip number trace. Or if you're out here in the south and you're in New Orleans, tip number three would be uh, to practice the small things. You know, go to a parking lot and practice your little sharp turns. Um, I come out on this road just to practice my leaning and my um, inside, outside, inside, you know, or outside, inside, outside, no. Oh, yeah, outside, inside, outside. My bad. Um, you know, and then I also come out here. Usually there's not a lot of traffic here. So being as this bike is still kind of new to me, it allows me to uh, practice, you know, get a feel for the bike as far as throttle control, braking, shifting, and all that good stuff. Had the, um, the Vulcan, you know, we and my, my wife and I, we just went to a parking lot behind like the academy here. And um, we just uh, rode around, you know, you stop at the stop sign so you can work on getting one foot down or two foot down 
put your feet down, whatever makes you more comfortable. Uh, and we just rode around for like two hours in that parking lot. It was good because traffic's slow, but it's also light. So parking lots are always good because not a lot of people are going to be doing 100 miles in the parking lot. Um, you know, and it actually started to rain. So although we didn't uh, plan on it, we got a little uh, wet, uh, wet riding action. You know, practice there. Don't don't be don't be dirty. So you know that was good. Um, but yeah, finding low traffic areas to practice the small things, whether it be throttle and clutch, uh, brake throttle clutch, all of that is one of the best things you can do. Uh, tip number four. Again, this is in no order. I'm just a guy who decided to go from three wheels to two and is enjoying the shit out of it, even if it's raining, unfortunately. Um, if you fall, get back up. You know, you can't, you can't fall and be like, oh, that's it, because you'll never, you'll never get over it. You know, you gotta, if you fall, you gotta get, you know, as they say, if you fall, fall off the horse, you gotta get back on it. For instance, um, a few years back, my wife had a, uh, she had a shadow. She was going around the block, around, you know, around the neighborhood, and she fell. But she did end up getting back on, and she, you know, she rode it back to the house. Um, unfortunately, you know, the great flood of 2016 happened here in Louisiana, and she lost that bike. But as you see, she has another bike, another shadow, of course. That is. And um, she hopped right on that one. You know, she was a little hesitant, a little tentative. But as she started going, even after the fall, because she would say, oh, that fall, I think about that fall all the time. And I would say, well, just go. You know, don't think about the fall. And just, just concentrate on what you're doing now. She fell, she got back up. And she got back on. Um, not too long ago, we were leaving out the, uh, out the neighborhood. And she, uh, I, I think she didn't get enough throttle going up this, this small incline. And, um, you know, she fell again. And she hopped right back on it. And, um, you know, rode away. Um, I have I have the clip, but she probably doesn't want me to post it, so we're not going to worry about that. Sorry about that. Is that better? Okay, because uh, up here it's pretty bad. But yeah, she fell and she got right back on it, and um, she's been doing really good ever since. So just because you fall once or twice, three times, doesn't mean you won't get it. It just means you got to practice. But remember, each fall is going to uh, clue you in maybe something that you might not have done correctly or something you need to adjust. So, you know, always get back on. Uh, that was four. I think I got a fifth one in here somewhere. Oh yes, I know what it is. It is to be comfortable. You have to be comfortable out on the bike you're on. So if you're unsure about what kind of bike you want to get, I would say go to your dealer, sit on So You might find that um, you don't like being hunched over on the street bike, but you like the laid backness of a cruiser. And you'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, I can do this. Or maybe you're like super long and you really don't want the cruiser. You want the, uh, you want it like a, a dual sport. But whatever bike you get, you need to be comfortable on. Yeah. When I had the, um, the Vulcan, I was not very comfortable on it. Which is not to say I couldn't ride it, because obviously I could, I made a video. But the seat was uncomfortable, everything was like too close. It was a very small for me personally. So, when I stepped up to the uh, Fat Bob, it is just so, it's so much more comfortable 
and I feel like I could ride miles and miles and miles on the Vulcan. I didn't really want to stay on that thing for more than like 40 minutes. It was just, you know, the seat sucked. But then it was old and I, I granted that. But, you know, you have to be comfortable on the bike you're on. So, and that also, I mean, that's not just for the bike itself. Oh, well, that is also for the clothes that you are wearing. You know, don't don't go out in some pants that uh, you know that are too tight and restrict your movement. Same goes for your uh, your shirts and all that good stuff. If it's going to restrict your movement, I suggest you uh, not wear that. As I was saying, in review, you want to make sure you're comfortable. You want to be confident. You want to make sure that um, you practice the small things. You want to make sure if you fall, you get back up, you keep trucking, and you teach that bike who's the who's boss. And you know, what, I think this one's it's, it's kind of it's very important because you can't worry about what people think and you can't worry about what they say. So don't worry about the people. And that's that's the video. And uh, so with that said, from one beginner to another, five tips I think you should know on uh, getting started riding a motorcycle. And with that, make sure you like, comment, tell everyone you know, and definitely smash that subscribe button. West Coast Southern, out.